sing a song for that? Gave up looking for answers long, long time. No, no. Oh, is it? Um, no, 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 it goes to the D shape, but it's a D9 with the, with the bass in the um, F sharp. <laughs> Gave up looking for answers long, long time. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're the composer. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, write my life story on here for you. I think they're getting better. Yeah. All right, trying to make us look good. Please. Come on, <laughs> look intelligent. Let's go. <laughs> You can always Photoshop me out. <laughs> there you go, brother. Looking good. CG. The world surplus here tonight. Cheese. For my Cheese or cheese for my We'll be watching. Yeah. A few times over the years. Well, thanks for coming back. I must have fooled you in the past. <laughs> Good heavens. That's going back. That's going to have you in. It's nice. These guys have got a great little instrument. They've got a good boy. There you go. It's worth an extra 25 cents. <laughs> I can see that. I was going to say, boy, I'm driving it. <laughs> <laughs> just look at it and it's signed. It's fresh. That guitar there on the right is painted. You, you, you may not be able to spot it from here. The guitar on the right is thinner than a normal guitar. Mm. 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 A little bit. And the guitar on the left is wider than the right. Yeah, they're, they're new models. And they're just experimenting. The one on the right is tuned, is, has big strings, 13 to 58, and it's tuned down a whole step. And the one on the left um, is just in drop D and drop G. And then my other one, which is just like this, is a normal tune. <laughs> the song was written with Virgil Donati. Yeah, the drummer. Yeah, he, he wrote the chord structure on a piano and with a drum machine and just gave me a tape of the chord structure and I wrote the melody right over the top of it. And it just all came flowing out. Thanks for that. You're welcome. That was my wife's idea to, to re record it as a duo. You know, because it was originally on the Journey album in 93. And um, yeah, so she said, well, why don't you just do it? Because I was sitting playing it one day and I had recorded the rhythm on a, on a little um, uh, iPhone. And so I was playing along with the rhythm. And she said, that's how you should record it, just two times. So that's what I did. <laughs> there we go. Because it's evolved, you know, I can tell a bit about it. I've always had like, you see how it's all, it's orderly. Yeah. My writing's always orderly. It always has purpose, you know. Um, but, uh, but I can kind of tell by how I did my T or my E or whether things are joined together. Yeah. Give me a clue as to uh, what I was writing back, <laughs> back in those days. But the funny thing is, my accountant keeps saying, "Look, you've got to, you've got to have a signature. You know, you've got to have a, 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 a mark." You know, and I said. That is my signature, and he said, but anybody can copy that. I said, well, that's who I am, and that's what I write. You know? <laughs> that's a good point.
I know from hanging around with Chet Atkins, when he was signing autographs a lot, he'd just write Chet A, CGP. Boom, that's it, all the time. You know? Sometimes he'd just write Chet, you know. <laughs> but you knew who it was. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What can I play for you tonight? Oh, I'd like to hear slow ones like um, somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah, oh, beautiful. A, a medley in my head. Yeah. What do you make a movie? So I do that? Yeah. All right, <laughs> right. Good on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done that in a long time. You can give this a try. I have the neck, neck fixed. Ah, you did? What? Oh, yeah. This is, how old is this guitar? It's from about... 93. Yeah, 90, yeah, I was going to say, that's the 90s logo. That's the one I liked. I actually liked that because it reminded me of the man from Snowy River. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear it. I can hear the years on it. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, but I really. Okay. Well, I'll just play it for you. Thanks, Carla. Enjoy the show. Tommy, Benny. Benny. All right. Does this look familiar? It does. The sharp cutaway. The sharp cutaway. My old man had one exactly the same of your model, the Tommy Mineral Artist, back in '92. We bought it from Downtown Music in Stanmore, I think it was, in Sydney. Yeah. That was the original. What happened was it got stolen. But before that, a guitar student of yours, Jim Newman, yeah. was making guitars. He's making a copy of it. Well, and years later, I tracked him down because I had a connection to that guitar. Yeah. And the sound it made. And yeah. I said, Can you make me Tommy's guitar? Yeah. And he made it. Well, that was the first. A signature model guitar that mate made me. It was it was based on the Messiah. Oh, and it had the Messiah. <laughs> yeah. What was the model called? It was. Uh, Tommy Metal Artist. I have no idea. It, it was, had like a Indian rosewood back. It, it had Indian a it, Indian rosewood back and sides yeah. and a spruce top. Yeah. And I beat the hell out of it. It did. Yeah. And it's had that <laughs> remarkable timber sound. That, that sound oh. I haven't heard anywhere else. Yeah. It's. A, I it's miss a, it. I use. Can you hold it? No, I'll. Uh, I'll write my life story here. Right there. I'll wear it. Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. You're welcome. Because the other one had a different signature on it. This will be just a good little finish off for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Right. Yeah. Great. I love meeting guitars like that. Yeah. <laughs> Inspired. <laughs> so, we met Tommy Emmanuel today. It was yeah. my first time. My second. But I hadn't met him in, haven't seen him in 25 years, so. Since I was 13 years old, now well, I'm 38, so 25 years old. Okay, Pretty tell funny. tell me the story. Tell us the story. Uh, about meeting him today. Yeah. Well, what happened was is I've I got a guitar, and uh, this is a very special guitar of mine. But what happened was my father had Tommy Mendel's original guitar, and it was from um, back in the early 90s, and he's paid a lot of money for it back then, and unfortunately it was stolen. Uh, but however, we had a very good guitar teacher that was started to make guitars many, many years ago and he had made a copy of a tracing pencil and a tracing pad and they took measurements of the guitar and just shelved the drawings. And it wasn't too, just a few years ago <laughs> that um, I remembered, uh, hang on, my guitar teacher still has those drawings. He still makes guitars. So I went and contacted him and said, hey, can you recreate this guitar for me? And he had to go and check and he had the drawings so he was able to make it for me. And I was able to be connected again with that original guitar that was stolen uh, all those years later. So what I ended up doing is I contacted Tommy Manuel's uh, agent in the USA, let them know that I'm coming to Brisbane and I'd love to come and meet with him today and just to sign the guitar and, and say good to meet him and share the story. And that's what I was able to do. So uh, Tommy it's, loved the story. And, it's pretty um, awesome. It's, yeah, there's a connection to it, you know. It was, and I got to find out you know, what the type of guitar it was, and it was Tommy Manuel's first series of guitars ever made by Mayton. It was made by the Mayton Custom Shop down in Tasmania, and it was a very special guitar. And Tommy told me that he had worn the tops out of these things many times from banging, and he talks like he, um, he used the, the guitar like an instrument, basically. And um, just to see. Like an instrument oh. that it is. No, oh, sorry, an instrument. Like a, <laughs> like a, percussion, a percussion instrument. Yeah, like you know multiple I mean? instruments. Oh, totally. He, he played four or five mind. different things at once. So, yeah, it was amazing. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was epic. It was really, really good. Um, With the three hours, it was non stop. Uh, what, what was the first guy's name? I can't remember. We'll Steve. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'll link that. Um, 
and so he did like an hour. He did like an hour. He did at the, the beginning. First. So, so he's what he, from he, America, and he did a, like a lot of um, finger picking stuff. Yeah, but a lot of like songs. Like he sang a lot, whereas Tommy mm. just plays a lot. Yeah. Um, and then that that guy, he went. He won a Grammy. That that mm. um, Steve. He's quite a famous fella dude. because there's only three certified guitar professionals in Australia. I mean, in the world. And two of them were here tonight playing for us. That's what the C... P. So certified Guitar Professional. CGP stands for. And it was Professional given, or player? Prefer, professional. Okay. And, um, or player. One or two. And it comes down, it comes from a fellow called Chet Atkins who basically came along the first and was yeah. the real get first guitar great that taught all these people and got to give them these, these logos. He sounds like yeah. a cool dude because yeah. um, that Steve did, did two songs that kind of talked mm. about him. Yeah. Yeah. Which was really cool. Yeah. He used to play in his band. Hmm. I know okay. Tommy's, all the Tommy stuff and all the Tommy's music. And that's what I come here tonight to see. But these other people was added bonus. Everybody yeah. Was. So then totally the, the other people blew me away. at the end um, was Troy Casadelli came mm -hmm. on. And I was like, oh, wow. But um, yeah, there was lots of songs from like, he, um, who was the other guy? I'll have to look up. Some other famous dude got up who was just there yeah um so when we did the meet and greet we overheard him and tommy talking and realized they were mates so yeah. he said i'm gonna get up with you <laughs> and, they ended and up doing that. yeah it was really good they had like four of them on stage yeah. at the end but um oh, tommy himself was absolutely incredible oh. i didn't realize he could do all of that stuff like it's different see like hearing someone you know, I'd hear it on, on in the car when we were doing road trips and stuff or so Ben would play him in the house, but just seeing him do it in person. I've never seen anyone move their fingers so fast and just Without looking immerse themselves in, the in an it, yeah. instrument like oh. that. It was it was art. Yeah, totally. That's a good way to put it. Art. It was really art. It was incredible. I highly recommend anyone who's going to see him because this guy is, is one of a kind. Really? Yeah. And, and, and the second to him is just like, wow, it's just a big jump. Yeah. With, yeah, Tommy is Tommy. He That's played like, Over oh. the Rainbow. He said he wanted to shake off the news of the day, mm -hmm. um, which is what's happened in Las Vegas. Yeah. Which is shit, but, um, but he, he, was he really did that. shake it off and he yeah. shook everyone to the core with yeah. um, humor and compassion through his music. Like, that you get these feelings through his music. It's Unbelievable, yeah. but also he's a funny guy and a compassionate <laughs> guy and a nice guy. Like he's genuine. You know, when you meet someone and you can just sense that they're genuinely nice. Yeah, he had a lot of time for everyone. Yeah, it was just really good to see everyone yeah. photographer. And so relaxed with that machine in his hands. Oh, he was, he was you know, at like, home with it. Yeah. It, when, especially when the other guys got on stage with him, it was really interesting to see how he was one with that instrument. Mm -hmm. um, and it was completely relaxed. Anyway, are you inspired? Yeah. Are you like really inspired to totally. yeah. go and do your thing? Yeah, yeah. You got the music in I'm you. I'm going to pick it back up again. You know, like when I was 15, 16, I was right into it and I let it go and I didn't realize the, the gift that I had. Yeah. And because I, Tommy was all I ever learned from when I was a child. Yeah. And that was my inspiration, and that's what I picked up all these little pieces. Now seeing that on stage, and that's a part of me I've got really got to connect with again. So when I rekindle that, yeah, that's yeah. how when I when I first met Ben, I fell in love with his music. You picked up a guitar in a shitty little kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's all in me. What's gonna come? Go back? and see Tommy Emmanuel if you ever get the chance. Amazing. Bye.